What's up pals? Welcome to another episode of the Your Random Pal channel. And today, I'm at the Kentucky Science Center in downtown Louisville, Kentucky to check out a really cool concept car that's got a lot of NASA-inspired technology in it. I mean, check out my shirt. I even dressed up for the part. I got an astronaut on my shirt. He's chilling on the moon, drinking a green beer after eating some green cheese. But anyway, this car, it's only going to be here for three, count them, three days. And today is the very last day they have it on display in the lobby. So let's go on in and check it out. Now, I think I beat Doug DeMuro to the punch on checking this car out, but uh, Super Car Blondie, she, uh, she beat me to the punch. So behind me is the Hyperion XB1 hydrogen electric car. It's uh, an exotic sports car on steroids. The specs on this car are really, really amazing. It's uh, like 2,038 horsepower. It's got a range of over a thousand miles, zero to 60 in 2.2 seconds. I mean, this is insane. I just talked with the guy over here and he said the first 10 cars they plan on making are going to be track only cars. Now I did read where when they unveiled this in 2020, they plan to make 300 of them. That has not materialized as of yet, but it'll be cool once they get these cars produced. I mean, take a look at it. It's pretty amazing. Kind of has a little bit of a Bugatti look to it with this uh, pointed nose. It kind of reminds me of a dog. You just kind of want to take your finger and go boop. But this is, uh, it's really space age, futuristic looking. So I had to stop by the Science Center and check it out. I mean, it's got this cool canopy roof. I mean, you can see it's, it's like panoramic view here. Just everything is open. And check out the doors on this thing. The doors are way cool. These are wings. You can see how they open up there kind of goes curves over into the roof section take a look at that it's, the steering wheel it's not even a full circle it's kind of got a really racy look to it and you got to check out the exhaust on it those big exhaust uh, ports right here now there's no combustion as far as like the gasoline motor so what you're going to have is just water coming out of this that's the product of uh, byproduct of hydrogen it's just water vapor so instead of uh getting smoke you're going to get clean burning water out of here now i just talked with the chief engineer of this car gabriel and he's provided me with some b-roll footage to show you all at home to see how this car looks in action and it's really cool So this really cool looking TV screen behind me, it's actually the charger for this car. Yes, they have a hydrogen electric charger. It's uh, for your home. And you can see here, here's your nozzle. Hook it into the car. Pretty cool stuff. Hydrogen fuel, it's, there's not really much infrastructure out there. There's a little bit in California. Toyota's had their hydrogen car, the Mirai, but uh, Shell has closed down some of the hydrogen fueling stations out there. So it's good to have a home charger for the car and hopefully the infrastructure will pick up because this is a really cool car. Uh, electric cars took a long time before they really took off. A lot of the people don't know, but electric cars have been around for a long time since the dawn of the automobile. I remember Jay Leno had an episode uh, where he had, a, I think it's his car, a 1910 Baker electric car. So electric technology's been around forever. And then you had the GM EV1 in like the 90s, but it didn't take off until recently, past decade with Tesla and their mass production of the electric car. We've heard about hydrogen cars for quite some time. It'll be cool if these things take off because I think the technology is great. If it can achieve what they say it can achieve, thousand mile range, five minutes to charge up, a top speed of over 
It's a 221 mile per hour top speed and a zero to 60 time in 2.2 seconds. So really cool specs on this car. And also I want to talk about the weight of the car. The car weighs 2,751 pounds. So it's relatively a uh, light car. It's not heavy, heavy or anything. In comparison, I have a Lotus Elise and that weighs 2,000 pounds and that's a very stripped down sports car. This one's obviously got a lot of technology in it, but it's also got a lot of lightweight components. Uh, it uses a carbon fiber Minogue chassis, so keeps the weight down. Obviously, you got to have a lot of uh, tech in these modern cars, computer controls, and uh, crash safety in them, and which will probably lay the car down a little bit. Well, pals, I hope you enjoyed this video on this really cool Hyperion XP1 concept car. Until next episode, don't worry, be random. Another random guy video. Remember, ring that bell.